Hey everyone, this is Alessandro Buxio for Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for a saffron risotto, risotto alla milanese. It's a great risotto to eat on its own, but it's also great when served with slow cooked meats. I'm going to be serving mine today with an osso buco. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Let's get started. Start by adding 4 cups of chicken stock to a large saucepan and bring it to a simmer. We're going to be using one wedge of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Cut off the rind and add it to the stock. The rind will add an additional depth of flavor. Then grate the Parmigiano Reggiano with a fine grater. We're going to be using 3 quarters of a cup in the risotto and some more for serving. Finally chop one yellow onion. And two cloves of garlic. In a large pan over medium heat, add a good drizzle of olive oil, and then add the onion. Saute for a few minutes until the onion is nice and translucent, then add the garlic. Cook it for a minute or so, then add one and a half cups of arborio rice. Fry the rice until the outside starts to turn translucent. Then add a good splash of dry white wine, and let it cook and evaporate for a minute or so. Then start adding the stock. Add enough stock to level with the rice. Then cook it, stirring constantly. Once most of the liquid has been absorbed, add more stock and repeat the process. At this time, season the rice with salt, fresh ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of saffron threads. After the fourth addition of stock, give the rice a taste. The rice is done when cooked, but still al dente. To finish, stir in 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter and the cheese. And the saffron risotto, risotto alla milanese, is done. Serve the risotto immediately once done. I am serving mine today with an extra sprinkle of cheese, some braised osobuco, and some gremolata sauce. And it is time to eat! I hope you have enjoyed the recipe, please don't forget to like it, Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.